points on the court. There was so many tough games. Seven by a total of 15 points. Up and under move for the game's first points. Jawan Durham. You should get more playing time. The starting lineup for Duke for the first time this season does not feature Cassius Stanley. Hurt gets to the baseline. Off the window and a soft touch for the freshman Matthew Hurt. He's got scoring ability, Bob. What a double-double machine. What a career he's had. 20 double-doubles tied for in the nation with the most double doubles and knocks down the 15 footer oklahoma city the thunder where he's doing a heck of a job this year goldwild is able to connect that's two-man game a nice slip to the goal by durham all right carl thanks very much as we welcome you to the 469th consecutive sellout here at cameron indoor stadium doesn't have a pretty release, you know, but the bottom line is he's such a productive player. When you read it, look about his rebound and totals, no defense right there, right by him to the goal. At three rims oh. up, but the follow by Jawan Durham off the Lasheski miss. Why don't they get more playing time? Come on, Bob. I gotta call Mike Bray up. The ball off. Uh, give the ball off. Uh, picked his pocket. Give it oh, up. He takes it away. Oh, give it up. Poor job right there. He's off the mark and Hurt has had a roller coaster season for Duke. He's drive down the lane. Great drive down the lane. Practice hub able to lay one in. He's a guy that can score. He's a little inconsistent shooting the three, but he has good scoring ability. Goldwire off the feed for Carey. Knocks it down. That's a big plus. They go inside, outside. And here comes Trey Jones. They got a Gibbs to give him some basketball. He's certainly a guy that's got a lot of experience and a lot of success. He's got to be able to contribute. Smoothly done by Vernon Carey right over the top of Mooney. What a job Coach Chambers and his kids have done up there in Nittany Land. I think they're the biggest surprise in basketball. There's the first three of the game for Notre Dame. They need a bucket of those. He wants to pick up that dribble. Practice Hub floats one up to Mooney. Nice little two-man play there by Hub and Mooney. Did it against all the greats in the ACC in the past. And there he is at the rim again. Nice movement without the ball. Good shots has really got to be a priority. Uh, that's a turnover you don't want. A fumble by Prentice Hub. And a slip pass. That's finished by Trey Jones. You know, Trey Jones finishes it. Nice pass for the layup. Need the nation fewest fouls per game. Needs the nation fewest turnovers per game, as you just said. 9.75. Post position for Carey. Seven games by a total of 15 points. Carey's been tough for them to handle on the inside. Oh, Spins nice move. Mooney and lays it in. Great move right there against Mooney. Shooting the three well here today, and that's a bad sign for fighting Irish fans. The three ball is big to them. Carey for three. Yes. Oh, Mr. Carey says, I go inside. I go outside. Can't panic now. You panic that lead of blow, blew it up big time. And Durham back in the game and having an immediate impact. He's rated like he should be. I really don't. I mean, people look for all the high wired jumping jacks. This kid knows how to play. Seals inside and hands. scores. Told his dad we're going to offer him a scholarship. Well, maybe he'll take him now in the NBA. Stutter step at the elbow. Pure for Trey Jones. Big time player. Trey Jones is a winner. Incredible. Missing a shot deliberately on the foul line, getting the rebound and scoring. Plus the foul for Jawan Durham. He's playing right now with two fouls. Does not want to pick up that third going up against Vernon Carey. And he's not going to get fouled. Right now, Mr. Carey. Now watch this. He's going to use that unbelievable drop step. Now watch this. There he puts the arm on him. He drops them. He feels really well. Durham with the two fouls. Played Matador defense on a terrible Terry pass. gets the steal. Crosses over. That's his first miss from the floor, but the follow is there for Trey Jones. Footwork down in the post. Mooney can't hit over the top of Carey. Fluger back tap right to Trey Jones. Jones pull up three. Got it. Oh, oh. Has the best defense in the conference on the three, and you're seeing it here this afternoon. one for Matthew Hurt. Matthew Hurt down that in post. His offensive skills in touch. He can become a special player. Step back for Hub. 
That hits the front rim and it won't go. But there's the tip follow for John Mooney. O'Connell off the right shoulder. That's rejected by Goodwin. O'Connell gets it back. Gets it back to the right guy, too. Jones? Yes. To the right guy. He made the plays he made against Carolina to win that game. Mooney lays another one in, plus the foul. He's got 12. They beat South Carolina, who's been really good for T.J. Gibbs. About 15. On the offensive glass again, it's Mooney. Mooney, Mooney, Mooney. Lost that game, but it proves that we can get into an offensive rhythm and come from behind. There's Mooney for three off the feet from Hub, and the big man steps outside. This Hub, this is a long two. Hub has been real quiet. He's had some big games for Notre Dame. Get the left hand through traffic, Trey Jones. You are that. Yeah. There he goes right at him. Plus the foul for Vernon Carey. Back in the game with the three fouls. Knocking it down once again is Juwan Durham. He's got 15. Watching it today, I think he should be playing like 25 to 28 minutes. Mooney's got two fouls. You would think he'd be getting a very brief rest. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh buried by Matthew Hurt. Of last year, our team's in a pass, but it's an efficient team that knows how to win. Durham seals inside. Blocked by oh, oh, Carey on the backside. Play by Carey defensively. The long rebound to Hurt. Off the Trey Jones miss. Jones oh, gives it up. Go Blyer lays it in. What a nice pass. So efficient. Get a T.O., baby. What a start he's had to his NBA career. Incredible. Yeah, amazing. The folks behind the bench, I didn't think there was a seat oh. for him, but somehow they were able to squeeze Zion in. Pulled down by Goldwire. Handed off to Trey Jones. They're free and easy right now. And that backdoor pass intended for Delorier. Picked off by Goodwin. And this hub hits a three. Hey, hub gets a basket. Happy with that call. Not happy with the way his guards have played here. And he knew he had to get a strong game from his perimeter people, and it wasn't there. O'Connell, quick trigger from the corner. Another three goes down. This one for Joey Baker. Wide open. Find the open man. Lashesky. Yes. He's capable of making some threes. On left with over 12 minutes to go, but they need stops as Duke is on pace to put up well over 80 points in this game. And they just can't miss right now as Baker connects from two-point left. Can't let them get second opportunities when you're down big like this. Look at that move. Look at that quick move. Are you kidding me? He knows how to play, man. Tough night for the Irish, man. It's a tough... Uh -oh. Jones to O'Connell. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Those are my guys. Another turnover by the Irish. Trey Jones back uh -oh. outside. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Another uh -oh. triple. It's Joey uh -oh. Baker. What did they came here with purpose? They came here mentally ready to play, but they can't stop. There's nothing that they can do now to control what Duke's doing offensively. A 12-0 run for Duke. That floater won't go. There's Mooney on the offensive glass. Do you think he can make an NBA roster? Are you kidding me? He said, you're there. Are you kidding me? Of course. He plays hard all the time. And I'm talking about stars. Wow. Oh. Oh. Matthew Hurt with another three. And the addition of Goldwire this season has thrown it down is Juwan Durham. Now, everything you'd want in the book and every dollar goes for kids battling cancer, just go to dickvitale.com and you can get an autographed copy any way you want me to sign it. You're going to give me, I'm not going to laugh when I say, oh, look at this strip right here. Alex O'Connell with a takeaway and a finger roll. Nice play by O'Connell. Defensively and then offensively combined both. Hey, I always tell you an interesting matchup tonight. Nobody else say, oh, that'll be a blowout. Oh, really? Tonight? Oh, look, they do anything they want, man. Better one player says to the next. They strip the ball. With another steal. Oh, it's been ugly. It's another one. It's been ugly. UGL won. What are them fans will be watching? Because Mr. Connerton's in there. Quite a businessman gave up the thrill of playing 
baseball. The Orioles wanted him, and he's done a heck of a job coming off the bench for really a terrific team in Milwaukee. Here's the third wheel at a Barry Manilow concert in oh, Vegas. Oh, wow. I mean, that has can't miss fun written all over it. Barry Manilow smooths it. Oh, Mr. Robinson's Justin in the Robinson. house. Oh, oh, he's embarrassed right there. <laughs> he had a layup for himself. What a family, the Robinson family. One of your sons played for Notre Dame football. Even and his wife, just classy people. He's on a board with the V Foundation. We also have Sage Steele now on the board, Jay Billis. Uh, it's such a great group of people. It was awesome, baby, today. And really hurt the dream of Notre Dame chasing a chance to play in March Madness.